So you want to know how to get certified in cyber security and you want to know how to do it fast. Well you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're going through in today's video. We'll be talking about the recently newly made exam CC by ISC squared. And if you're not already familiar with ISC squared they are one of the largest cyber security certification providers out there and they are well recognized especially for holding the CISP exam which is the one of the gold standards in cybersecurity. To ensure you can pass and you understand this exam fully, I'm going to split this video up into three different sections. Firstly, we'll talk about the exam outline and exactly what's involved in the exam. We'll then secondly go on to the topics, just so you make sure you understand every single topic and you know what to expect when you're doing it. And then finally, we'll look to talk about my thoughts and what I think you need to help you successfully pass and just some tips that I've got. Everything is timestamped down below so if you need to skip ahead please do so but I do recommend sticking out for the whole video just so you gain a good understanding. Right so let's go on to our first topic which like I said is the exam outline. So it's a two hour exam with multiple choice questions and you'll overall have a hundred questions to answer and you can take the exam at any Pearson View testing center and you'll also have to score around 700 out of a thousand points to pass the exam. Comparing that to a number of other exams, that's pretty standard for what I would expect. And this exam is aimed at beginners at very foundational level. So if you're coming in with no experience, then yep, this is definitely the right exam for you. I wouldn't say it's one of the hardest out there. I'd probably say it's one of the easiest and best to get yourself ready to jump into cybersecurity. So whether you are a current IT professional or you're just a college student or a recent graduate or even someone that's just interested in cyber or IT, it's definitely one for you and it's worth doing. Even if you just want to learn a bit of the basics, it's a good exam to sit for yourself. Now that you have the outline covered, let's go on to talk about the different types of topics. So there are five topics in total for the CC exam and they will cover five different domains which are security principles, business continuity, disaster recovery and incident response, which then goes on to access control, network security and security operations. It's worth noting here that all of these domains are weighted differently and the weighting of those can be found on the website, but let's briefly discuss what each of these topics involve because that's really important to understand where any of your gaps are or if you need to do more learning in a specific area. So security principles. That will include things such as risk management processes, governance processes, and the security concepts of information assurance. Then going on to BC, DR, and IR, you'll learn to understand why these exist and the importance of them and exactly what those components are. Then when you've done with that section, you'll go on to access controls, which will understand the physical and logical access controls, such as least privilege and segregation of duties. Then going on to network security, you'll learn to understand different types of network threats and attacks and different types of network security infrastructure. So you might look at threats such as denial of service attacks or distributed denial of service attacks and just how to prevent them. And then finally, you have the topic of security operations. So this is where you will look at data security, which includes things like encryption, system hardening and security best practices. All of these are very important topics and key to foundational success in cybersecurity. So as this is a beginner exam, it will be brief on all of these topics, but enough detail to gain you understanding. So don't worry if you're seeing or hearing of some of these for the first time. That's exactly what this course is here for. That then nicely covers our topics to move us on to our final section of my thoughts on the certified in cybersecurity exam. So as I did just mention, the exam will help you gain a solid foundation of cybersecurity knowledge that employers are definitely looking for, especially for people joining the field. And not only that, you'll gain it from one of the best certifying bodies that is well trusted amongst many employers and a lot of students have taken their exams going on with successful careers. Further to this, I also see it as a really good pathway to the Security Plus exam by CompTIA. That is probably one of the most popular cybersecurity certifications for beginners in cyber but I definitely see the CC by ISC squared as a step to get to that exam. I definitely wouldn't recommend going into that exam if you don't know any of the foundational concepts. Therefore, it's really good to do this one first and get it ticked off so you have that knowledge. This then finally blends in with my final point of it's currently free to sit this exam by ISC squared. So they're trying to get as many people as possible right now to get certified in cybersecurity. 
therefore if you're watching this video in real time or close to when I've posted it, it's free. Click the link in the description, go sign up. I'm not affiliated, it's just something that's out there by ISC Squared, so do definitely check it out. Hopefully you found that video really useful. If you have, do join my Discord community. The link's in the description and comment section where we talk about all things cybersecurity and we help each other on just any struggles we're having within the field. If you did like the video, please do leave a like. It massively helps the channel out and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.